<laughs> you're so like focused, <laughs> and, like you're just sitting here by yourself. There's no one. <laughs> this is the true. This is the sad truth of video <laughs> and games. And you keep dying. We like, keep talking about like it's it's a way to like hang out with people. It's like no. And then this is most of it. Like Got today, Chris. It's one of my favorite games of all time. I circled this over and over in Sears catalogs. Sears uh, catalogs. You know, I wasn't just looking at the uh, the lingerie section of the catalog. Lingerie. That was a good source. At the of time, this was my lingerie. Super Mario World, and this is a game. I just want to say real quick up front. This is the Mario game that I grew up wanting, and like obviously I had played. The original, and I played Super Mario 3, but this was this was really it. And I, I this is a great lives and levels game too. That's an excellent game. They had to they had to show what Mario could do on a more powerful system on the new on the new generation system. Oh, and they and nailed they, that. It is amazing. Want to crack a beer? Let's crack a beer. All right. What's this beer? Oh, uh, this is um, Peak Organic Happy Hour. Mm. Very good stuff. Local sourcing. Hmm. Crushable Pilsner. Let's start at the first level. Let's erase somebody. I remember renting the SNES from the video store with my older brother and playing this game. And I remember my mind being blown because I, I love Mario. The original is my favorite. That's a bust out that that's your favorite. That's my, a lot I'm of people would say Mario guy. 3. Mario 3, game. I would argue, is the best Mario game of all time, but mm -hmm. the first one's my favorite. Empire Strikes Back versus Star Wars A New Hope. Empire Strikes Back, technically a better film. But the first one. The New Hope is my favorite, favorite, and it's the most. You've Star argued Wars. that, and I actually I understand that. And that's what that's Mario to me. That was a satisfying. That was satisfying. We talked about the bat too. Playing Mario Maker, and you have to build. A lot of people just build really frustrating levels, and you have to put in those satisfaction moments. Yeah. Now, you have a mixed opinion about Yoshi. To me, Yoshi was like I just loved this power up, and a lot of people say it's like a bullshit power up and everything. But what I learned is that you can't be afraid to lose Yoshi. He's he's just a power up like anything else. You People who like try a, to you treat him like meat. Yeah. <laughs> you don't care. Yeah, you don't, you, he's not a living see, creature. See, like even you. right now it's like I might go back to get him because he didn't run that far away, but I try to use Yoshi to my advantage. I try to use him as long as I can, but I don't try to ride him to the whole level. A lot of people will make that mistake. Right. You're like, "See, I could I could save him or I could let him die for the for the entertainment." <laughs> You know, I think the other thing is like, we talked about how Mario is generational, like was people story. nowadays, like some people Mario Odyssey is like their Mario game. Like this was really like, what we're, we're only a couple years apart, but this was like my Mario game, you know? Right. And like, I feel like your Mario game might've been like more Super Mario 3. I, I actually like, I'm used to the physics in this Mario game, the jumping, the mechanics. You're used to like more Mario 1, Mario 3. It's an interesting- I'm used to that tightness of Mario 1 and 3 I think were, this well, is pretty tight. I mean, it's tight, but Mario 1 and 3 is more like a Mega Man, where you're like, you stop on a dime when That's you're true. done running. No, this is a more drifty. It's a little more, there's a little more physics involved, which is mm -hmm. cool. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's definitely how Mario has become. Mario stayed this way. Right. Since, so that, they clearly liked this and they wanted to go this way. I like this Mario. I like this. Was, this I was this the thing. coolest thing. Very cool. This blew my fucking mind as a kid. Right this now. is so cool. You I mean, can do this that. Blew you my can go fucking on the other mind. side. That's so cool. That blew my mind. Yeah, it's sick. So cool. Well, this thing also like was like a launch title. It showed off like all the capabilities of the system. Like it really was like this right. is a, this is a killer app. Mario three introduced the the, so the world the... map, which is pretty a uh, pretty big Mario yeah, staple yeah. now. It is. And it's pretty amazing. It's a staple for most games, like Donkey Kong and everything. Absolutely. It was a cool way to, to break up the world and kind of give you a path to choose. I mean, I don't feel, you know, you got a way to 
choose which level per, which level you decided to play oh, first. Nice, dude. Nice. Him right off on his ass. That was nice. That was slick. nice, dude. And I had fireballs I could have been using. I realized self -love. Can I say that's true? You know what's nice about the Mario games? They ease you into the water. Uh -huh. They get you nice. They get you in the nice flow. That's that Mario. That's that Miyamoto Mario level design. Yeah. That uh, you know that Mario Maker just. Proves that Don't get me wrong. I love it. Mario Maker, but yeah, it's mostly like Rube Goldberg insane, just right. traps and high concept. It's not like nice, yeah. satisfying levels. Like I try to make those kind of levels, and people, I guess, aren't really into that. They're like, kind of like, why should I do that? I guess when I have this better. Right. I get. But that. but at the same time, it's like I don't know so because it's fun. Yeah. And like make you a said, fun they level. make you feel like you figured things out. Can I say the difference is yeah. Miyamoto? built levels that made you feel smart. Yeah. People in Mario Maker make levels to make them look smart. But um, I really do like Mario Maker not just uploading, like actually watching you play it. And I love yeah. I love giving you like the pro controller like while I'm building the level and like you yeah, can beta test it. it. Yeah. yeah, totally. Oh man, I love this game. It's like the graphics and the music, everything about it just makes you like happy. Like yeah. if you're depressed and like you grew up with this game, just like turn it on and play a few rounds like Right. Nothing will get you out of a bad mood better than this. This is like oh, better than this. like video game oh, Prozac. Ooh. I was eating that motherfucker. This is a trickier level. They stepped it up. No, it they is video it game well. Prozac. I, I feel like all the Mario games have been. You're right. This is the most poppy, beautiful, beautifully Cartoon realized Mario for sure. What I love about Nintendo is, and people definitely hold this against Nintendo, but I think this is what's cool about them. You look at PlayStation, you look at most other video game franchises, as the technology got better and they could like, create these worlds with more deep, more and more detail, you start to get a better picture of what like Metal Gear Solid bring up a lot. The first one, the graphics are a little more ambiguous. The more they revealed the details, the more off I, the more further off I realized I was on what they actually were going for. I see what you're saying. I was filling in more of the blanks. But then when you get to, with Nintendo, you're always, I like how his hat almost falls off. That's a cool little animation. Yeah, very cool. The football goalpost is an interesting touch. I like it. There was a few football references in this game with the turtle with the helmet. But it was on. like a football player and he was oh. throwing a baseball, which I think is like so like Japanese. It's like, yeah. do you get football? Yeah. American sports. What a great controller, light, solid. This is a, a yeah. Can I just comment on this? Mm -hmm. Now the SNES, I, I definitely I sided with the Genesis during the Bit Wars. Okay. Yeah. Back during the Bit Wars. Back in the, you bit, wars. the bit Wars. You have like an eye patch yeah, with like exactly. a laser on it. Yeah, exactly. This was the beginning of the ergonomic controller. Yeah, the dog bone. The dog bone. I mean, obviously the Nintendo did it also, the NES, but like this is with the shoulder buttons. It's so fucking perfect and they still it do it. Like it's, it's. And it's the solid. buttons feel perfect. The buttons feel perfect. This is where they started to really think about design. I like the Dual Shock. Mm -hmm. I like it for all that it is, but. It is heavy. There's like so I really like the on. Nintendo, the Wii U Pro controller. I know you're gonna laugh at that, but no, uh, I, no everyone says that's a fucking. It's awesome so controller. light and nice, and a lot of people I like play a light that controller. On their, use that on their Switch. Can you? Yeah, oh yeah. Well, a lot of them use like, that on their Switch. There's a Switch Pro controller too, but a lot of people argue that the the Wii U one is better. It's one of my favorite controllers. Because it's a little more hefty. And it lasts. Sturdy. The batteries is like 80 hours. Damn. It's nuts. Yeah, a lot of people swear by that one. The Switch one's pretty good too, they said, but it's not as like, it doesn't feel as, um, it doesn't feel as... You can probably pick those up for not much. It doesn't feel this as hardy. This is cool. I love the on-off. Yeah, this, this is, is cool. awesome. Very cool. Watch out, those guys are... Those weird deadly. beardy, beardies. Beardies, <laughs> these weird beardies. Those weird beardies. <laughs> Bearded lady babies. Oh, the cape. The cape is the tricky cape. to master. The cape is tricky, I still actually... I figured it out the last time I was playing. And you basically uh, just press up. When you're falling down, you press up. You don't like press up and then down like you might think in Excite Bike style. Right. You just keep pressing up. Oh. This is a fun little bonus Aww. stage. Ooh. Oh! Oh! Oh, just trying it. Oh! Oh! You're a really Super Mario. They took Super Mario like literally. Yeah. They're like, we need <laughs> to give him a cape now. Super Mario, yeah. Super Mario. You, now you Super have Mario. you have original the original Mario Brothers on Atari. I didn't even know it was on Atari. I do, but that's the uh, port of the arcade game. Mm. It's not actually. It's pretty faithful, and I mean, it's not like right. It's it's based, but if you have Super Mario Brothers three, it's like you have that version also. Kind <laughs> yeah, of, yeah. I'll take it. 
This was really cool. Running up the wall. So sweet. That blew my fucking mind too. I like how he's so fat and he just bounds through the air like. <laughs> yeah, he's an athlete, man. He's a fat plumber he athlete. athlete. <laughs> he bangs princesses. He does. Yeah, he's he's a he's a stereotype. <laughs> he certainly is that. Now, can we talk about the Super Mario Bros. Super Show? That was fucking awesome. Did you ever watch that? No, I never did. Oh man, okay, well that was sorry. a fun conversation. <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> I wanna go to the Link. The woods! This is like <sighs> the Zelda Lost Woods music. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, I never made that Link connection. Link to the past. Oh wow, it does look like those trees too. I it's never made that connection. Even, before they even made that game. That was an Easter egg. They were making that game. They were making that game. Yeah. This is crazy. Miyamoto though. was like, this is like check friggin', this out. This is like Turtles in Time, like, oh! Like, it's like... Mm -hmm. I love that Mar somewhere in... Mar this while is you're going playing so Zelda, fast. While you're playing Zelda Link to the Past, Mario is flying at, like, a light speed. Oh my god, it's dizzying. I'm gonna puke. I'm gonna puke. <laughs> <laughs> He's a rocket ship burning through the skies above... Don't stop me now. Above, above Cause I'm Link having to the a past. good time. About to oh oh, oh, oh explode! I almost made it to the end. <laughs> I lost a life, and now it's time for you to play a level. Levels in levels for you. Oh, I like it. Don't stop me now, cause I'm having <laughs> such a good time. I'm having a ball. A ball. Let me play this level, man, cause I'm having a good time and I don't wanna you stop You love it. your Mario World, your Super oh, Mario World. I love my Super Mario World. This man is in his element. I'm loving it. You can you tell Mario. them? I, I just busting out you're into very cherubic. my Freddie Mercury impressions. You're very cherubic right now. A nice, Thank you. like a little, like a little boy looking, like a little boy, like a little boy with one hand on his pecker and the <laughs> other folding a page in a Sears catalog. <laughs> that's what. That's all coming full circle. See, that's the thing. Nothing can bring you back to that moment like this. Sears catalogs, man. Sears catalogs. I remember looking at those. The smell, that distinct smell of a Sears catalog, yes. too. I would just circle. And then it was like these games, and I would never get half of them. That's the thing. I think you that's the weird thing about the collections and things. Everyone thinks you gotta have like every single game. It's like, do you? If you just enjoy certain mm -hmm. games well, I think that's a thing that everyone should live their life by. You don't have to have everything. Yeah, right. You just gotta enjoy right. the things Take that you have. Take it easy. Take it easy for What's everyone. What's that phrase you always said? Keep your, keep your friends few and your beers cold. Yeah, something like that. It's a good one. I actually didn't say that. I found that online somewhere. You found it but online. I was like, I like oh, it. I'm going backwards. I shouldn't have done that. That was a foot of fool believes. Let's go forward. The forest of illusion. The forest of illusion. Oh, am I going the right way? Yeah, you can go whatever way you want. Is this the right That's way? That's the right. That's the way if you want to get to the end of the game. Uh, do I go? If you want to, let's see, Bezer. You go, go down. Yeah. And then go. Yep. Yes, whoa, yes, yes, whoa. yes, 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 Alex. And then go to that, go to that stage right here. Let's play this one. Chocolate, Chocolate. secret. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a porn. <laughs> Chocolate secret. Chocolate rain. Oh, this game. Oh, oh he, he has a football. He f punted he me right in the asshole. Yeah, man, this is a. There's nothing not to like about this game. Like, I don't really know a single person who has any issue with this game. No. Which is rare. It is a solid, solid game. Whoa. Nice. The football. There, there's a real football. Weird Ooh. to mix football now all of a sudden with Mario. Oh, wow, that he was just, close. He did like a weird... He grounded that one. He did, yeah. Buy this game, cherish this oh, game. Oh, I didn't really bounce, bounce, bouncing. Football, football, football. I do love that. Oh, that was a great experience. I let's do it, one man. more. Thanks, thanks for enjoying this with me. Oh, let's do one. Let's do one more. Thanks for enjoying with this with me. <laughs> I appreciate it. You're risking it. Going You're risking into the nightclub. You can see him flying around up the top there. When it takes it all, lose it takes a fall. What is that? It's from over the top. <laughs> nice. You're taking it over the top. Let's go. Oh. I thought you could run across them like in Mario 3 or Mario 1. Well, 
that was anticlimactic. It's definitely not my mind. <laughs>